Right, hi everyone. This is now my fourth attempt at trying to uh, get this video uh, done. I've got shockwave uh, problems to do with this, um, so this keeps conking out and I can't see an image. So, um, uh, And then the door went, the last one, I, I was a few minutes through it and then the door went, so... Um, I'll try again. I'll try to get you as brief as I can. Uh, this last week, uh, I I uh, seen a diabetic nurse, and it has been confirmed I am diabetic. Um, uh, the, the, uh, I've got I've got another blood test Monday, and I see a diabetic nurse the following week uh, to re just to confirm things really properly. It's uh, type two. I'm, I'm I'm pretty certain about that. It's uh, type two diabetes, and it will be diet controlled. But uh, it's not great news for me because after, especially after the last two years, it's been so bad. I've got this on top of it, and a new set a uh, set of tablets I've got to take probably for the rest of my life. It's the cholesterol control tablets. So. Not happy of taking an extra set of tablets and. Uh, Oh, it's the ones that I got to remember because it's the just before I go to bed. I got to take take one at night. But yeah, um, but yeah, I've been uh, diagnosed with these diabetes. Um, yeah, it's uh, not the greatest of news, but I sure be all right. I've just got to look after myself, um, get myself more physically fitter, and just watch what I eat. It's no more sweets, no more sugary things like that, really, not much of that. It, um, but then again, I can then, uh, uh, with bold sweets, there's plenty of sugar-free bold sweets. Uh, I've never tried diabetic chocolate, but I could give that a try. It's just, um, yeah, it's going to be some lifestyle changes, most definitely some big changes and I'll get all the information and that uh, from the diabetic nurse next week and uh, I'll probably be test have to test my blood and stuff like that. Um, it was lucky actually because uh, my mum's a diabetic anyway and she'd noticed I was getting more cold than usual and you know feeling quite tired more than I should and um, she felt like could have the di diabetes, so she checked my blood and it was too high, it was something like in six or seven points, something like that. And uh, yeah, uh, and then I went, uh, I went over to the um, pharmacy uh, to check it out again. Um, uh, you know, doing a fasting and then going in, and uh, yeah. Um, uh, but, that got me on the road to finding out if I really had the diabetes uh, or no, which I did mention a, a few times that I may have. But I thought it could have been avoidable, but it's not. It wasn't. I did ask my suspicions about 10 years ago, but I may end up with this because uh, at one point I thought it was a little low. It was uh, four points. Uh, something and uh, and then uh, the drops. Okay, and then it uh, uh, I did do a long walk once. It dropped down to about two something, but I just had a feeling that uh about that. But uh, you know, I put it out of my mind, and now years later, um. I end up uh, getting the get um getting what I suspected I'd probably end up with, which is the diabetes. Uh, so yeah, that's that's the that's the news news to do with my health. Um, yeah, uh, not great news, but uh, I mean, there's bigger things happen in the world like the uh, Hurricane Sandy, which I'm glad um. Samwise um, uh, uh, gave me a bit of in updated info about things, and uh, he and, and his family and everything was, uh, are okay. And I hope everyone uh, that is, you know, in the, you know, through with the storm and that, I hope that uh, things ain't too bad for you and things are, you know, okay. 
Um, that's it, really. Uh, yeah, until next time.